Hi, my name is Guillermo Cruz and I will be demonstrating different IP table rules to block traffic and protocols. The first thing I will demonstrate is blocking telnet sessions on, v on port 23, specifically uh, trying to initiate a telnet session from VM2 to VM3 and from VM3 to VM2. Um, first, I will show VM2 to VM3. So I want to block any sort of telnet request from VM2. I use the IP tables rule, which is I already pre-configured. So I append to the input part of the uh, filter table with the protocol of TCP destination port 23 and the source IP address of VM2, which is 192.168.2.10. I want to drop the packet. So if I try to initiate a telnet session to VM3, which is, this is VM3's uh, IP, session, IP address, and this is the port that I want to use, uh, it won't be able to connect. Uh, similarly, if I, using this command, which is exactly the same as what I showed on VM3. The only difference is that uh, this IP address is now VM3's IP address. So if I try to connect to uh, VM2 through VM3 using Telnet, I won't be able to connect because I've disabled it on VM2. So another demonstration is blocking a website on VM3. Uh, so I can block any website um, by finding its IP address, which I did. I used my professor's uh, website. So that's his website. So if I do IP tables append to output and destination of 75.126.113.168. For being my professor's website, and I can just drop any packet going out. So if I open up Firefox, go to Facebook, um, I'm able to access Facebook. But if I try to go to my professor's uh, website, I won't be able to because I've blocked that IP address. Um, so Another thing that I did was I blocked um, ICMP packets from VM1 to VM2. And I did that using the IP table rule being IP tables append to input protocol ICMP being the ping packets and the source IP of 192.168.1.11 as shown right here actually it's 10 and uh, I can drop any packet coming in from there I can also uh, set up a log um, to log anything coming out of Ethernet Zero, which is what uh, this and these computers are connected to uh, using this interface. So I can do that using IP tables append from source the source IP address of 192.168.2.10. And I can jump to the log, and I can set a log prefix of log, which will append it to the beginning of every single um, sort of 
log from that interface. So what I'm going to do is VM1. I already set this up, so I'm not going to uh, press enter again. But I will show you if I ping from 192.168.10.2.1.0. To this IP address, to this IP address actually, one dot eleven, I should have no response. And if I go to this directory, then and check syslog, the syslog file, I should find. Um, every single ping request from VM1. So this is the prefix I used and this is the interface and all the information on the ping request from VM1. And that is my demonstration.